Financial Monthly is in downtown Warren with uh, Diana Lynn, and she's the proprietor of Parkside Vintage in downtown Warren. And um, tell us a little bit about the store, Diana. Well, it's a, a vintage store, and we have quite a few different items. We have vintage clothing and china, uh, collectibles. We have some handmade items that I make. Mm -hmm. um, some historical items, we have a lot of Warren memorabilia and Youngstown memorabilia. Okay. A little bit of this and that. What, what gave you the idea for the store, though? Well, Dennis and I have collected for years. We like shopping and we like thrift shopping. Mm -hmm. We don't like to spend a lot of money. So we came up with quite a collection and we wanted to see some of the empty storefronts in downtown Warren filled up. And we thought this would be a good outlet for our collecting habit and uh -huh. fill up a storefront. So when, when did you open the store? We opened the store in February. It would, it'll be three years, so three years ago. Okay. Well, like you said, there's a lot of, there are a lot of vintage items here, a lot of some mm -hmm. clothing. But there also are things that have a distinctly local flavor, or there are things that are, people will remember from uh, Warren's background and history. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and what, well, how people react to that. That's one of the hardest things for us to keep in stock in the store, are the local items. They're, they're hard to find in this area because they, everybody wants them. Um, anything with the courthouse on it sells right away. And this, um, this is very, very old. This is probably from the early 1900s. Some of the china that we have is marked made for the Neeland House, or the ne not the Neeland House, the Neeland Brothers which was a store in, in downtown Warren many, many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but the courthouse is the most popular item, mm -hmm. but in Harding. And Anything you showed me this, Warren too. Harding, Sanitary Dairy, yeah, Sanitary Dairy is like, it's our Isleys. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes Sanitary Dairy. Um, people buying back their childhood memories. Mm -hmm. Well, these all started with creatures. I have a grandson, na a grandson named Cree. And I started making monsters and creatures, and it grew into puppets, and just like my kids say, I have more toys now than I did when they were little, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> but it's just something that it's fun to do. You get to a point where you just want to sit in your comfortable home and, and play with fabric, so that's, that's what we do. We play. And then I also make... Um, Purses and scarves and hats and well, that takes. I mean, it takes some skill and takes some you know time to do that. So when do you, when do you find the time to do something? Evenings, like that? evenings and weekends. That's it's it's what I enjoy. I'm I'm. I'll put the TV on in the background, but I'm not a person that can just sit and watch TV. So I have to be constantly doing something all the time. So huh. that's. That's what I do. And most of them are made with recycled things. This is a t-shirt. Um, these are recycled sweaters. Most of the yarns and things I get, I try to find in thrift stores or places like that. Well, I think one of our strong suits in Dennis, who runs this store, comes with 30 years of picture, custom picture framing experience. And I think that's why our displays are as nice as they are. And that brings a lot of people back in. It's not, a, it's not where everything is crammed in together. Things are displayed nicely. You can put together in different niches. And, mm -hmm. um, and that comes from both Dennis's framing and, and my photography background. Okay. We're very artistic. Okay. Well, tell us also, let us, let people know where you are in downtown Warren. We are on Courthouse Square in downtown Warren at 170 North Park. I have to stop and think because the photography studio is 701 North Park. Um, but right on the main square um, on the east side of Courthouse Park. 